Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Neighborhood Picks. I am totally uncomfortable right now. I just came back from the gym. It's super early in the morning. I feel like I took an E bomb in Cancun in 1999, and I'm just hoping it goes away. I took a pre workout. This <laughs> I took a pre workout this morning, uh, C4, and my fucking ears are on fire. Still, my ears are on fire. And if I couldn't see myself, I would think they were smoking. My ears are on fire. I don't know if this is a side effect. I'm not. It was like a C4. It was. I should have known better. It was. I went in the. I went in the in the fridge in the gym, and it 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 was it was a pre workout bottle shaped like a grenade, like a fucking grenade, and it said, "Total War." <laughs> so I said, "All right, I'm up for this this morning. We're gonna get going this morning." We'll get back to get. I, I woke up already on fire. I'm call, I'm give, I'm sending my cousins uh, I voicemails with my Conor McGregor accent this morning before they wake up for school. Hey, you fuck! It's Conor fucking McGregor. Get up! <laughs> I'm sure they've seen it by uh, no. They might be seeing it just now. They're probably just on their way to school. Like, oh shit, cousin Johnny, Jesus Christ! But um, <laughs> anyway, my ears are on fire. It's hard for me to like. I don't know. My face is tingling. I, I, I don't, it's, it's, it's almost as un uncomfortable as an e-bomber 20 some years ago, but don't kid. That's the, that's the key here. That's the moral of the story. Kids don't do stupid shit. All right. Where was I? I didn't start yet. Um, the quarterback carousel, right? Um, the whole thing to me revolves around the Colts. Really? Aaron Rodgers stayed. Okay. So that's not news. Aaron Rodgers stayed. He's in green Bay. He had 40 touchdowns and single-digit interceptions two years ago. Last year, he had like 36 and single-digit interceptions. The guy is just, he's, he's, he's on a different level. He's, he does this to the fans. He celebrates like this. I just do a touchdown, so I'm uppercutting. Like, he's just on his, just leave Rodgers alone. Rodgers, Devontae will be back. Everything's going to be beautiful. Um... Now, the whole thing really revolves around the Colts. Carson Wentz, he's a dumpster fire. I hate him. I hate him. I was so right about him. Now I got new shit to make fun of. Last year, in August, I was like, guys, whoever's on that Colts wagon, you're going to get ran over. This guy is the king of, he's the opposite of Tom Brady. Brady played 20 years because he can drop back. Here comes the rush, broken play. Guys, you're about to kill him. Duck, take the sack. Duck right under, right before the guy kills him. He's, he gets up, he flips all the ref, next play, touchdown. Wentz was always that guy like, <laughs> oh, boom, hit, done. Wentz, done. Mr. fucking shuffle klutz. Um, I never saw a guy last year on the injury report. Oh, I don't want to hear how good of a quarterback he is. I never saw a guy on the injury report with two broken ankles last year. He was, he was doubtful for a game last year. Ankles. He, he he sprained both ankles <laughs> on one play. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on with Carson Wentz. Ankles. And that was it for me. Then he did the lefty throw. I this woman, I don't want to say I I, I don't want to give adjectives because it's so sensitive. I was like this woman said before, well, it's definitely an upgrade for Washington because you can't compare Taylor Heineken and Carson Wentz. Really, Toots? Now, I'm just making up f funny adjectives. I have nothing against women. I love women, you know? If I was a woman, I'd be a lesbian. That's how much I love women. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm like, really? Really, sweetheart? You can't compare Wentz? Because what he brings, what does he bring? The lefty end zone throw when he's scared and he's getting hit? Uh, he's, a, he's a righty. He took it with his left hand and threw it to the other guy, and they walked in the end zone with a touchdown. Does anybody remember that pick six where he became a lefty? And just chucked it, and the defensive guy's like, oh, oh, shit, touchdown. Oh, it's terrible. Wentz, good riddance. Now, if you want to see a quarterback make a difference in an organization, I don't think it's going to be so much Russell Wilson. Russ better not cook. Russ, rely on that run game. Now, Seattle got no fun. They stole their tight end. They got a bunch of picks. They gave Russ, but what if they signed Deshaun Watson or something? Seattle could end up better. I don't know yet. I think Denver will be good, but 
in the division with um Carr with the Raiders, okay, we don't know. But you got Herbert and you got Mahomes and Russ. I don't Russ ain't better than Herbert and Mahomes. So where's that really taking you? The biggest thing for me is Garoppolo. He's the most underrated. He's like 38 and 13 as a starter. The Colts are the AFC version of the Niners. Trouble, I'm going to beat the shit out of you, Trouble. It's my cat. Scratch your chin. Hey! Don't fuck around. All right. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, Garoppolo, he knows the look. Garoppolo <laughs> is, uh, Garoppolo's 38 and 13 as a starter. The Colts are like the Niners of the AFC. They're the most loaded team that needs a quarterback. So, Wentz, look how nice they were with Phillip Rivers. Wentz fucked up totally and lost to Jacksonville last year. If Jimmy Garoppolo goes to the Colts, they can get further in the AFC. They'll get they'll get to the playoffs next year. I can't say further because they missed the playoffs. Because jerk boy, uh, Carson Wentz, just was terrible against Jacksonville. The, the last piece to this quarterback carousel that matters to me is where Jimmy G goes. Pittsburgh still needs a quarterback. Um, the Colts still need a quarterback. Seattle needs a quarterback. You got Jimmy G. You got Deshaun Watson. I can see Deshaun Watson ended up in maybe Pittsburgh. Who knows? Who knows? But Garoppolo, I just have a feeling the Colts know they need a guy like Garoppolo. You got hand it off to Jonathan Taylor. Let the guys do their thing. But so far, Wentz stinks. Washington, I'm happy Wentz is in, still in our division. I'm very happy. Um, you know, when you're doubtful with two ankles and you're throwing lefty pick sixes, I'm not afraid. Rodgers is back. Wilson joined the toughest division ever. Wilson's a little too husky, if you ask me. He got a little too husky over the years. Doesn't move around as well. And um, I, I like Garoppolo as a winner. Deshaun Watson. I don't know how many rubbing tugs he got. I don't know if he's going to ever be able to be playing or what. I don't know what's going on. So we'll talk about that later. And I just want to wrap this up. Guys, Neighborhood Picks, this is the quarterback carousel. Like and subscribe. Give it a share. If I'm not cursing too much. Send it to grandma. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but uh, like and subscribe. Um, Twitter, uh, same thing. Neighborhood Picks. Instagram, Neighborhood Picks. Johnny Atanucci Jr., uh, you know where to find me, all right? Um, like and subscribe. I'll see you when I'm burning on the next topic, all right? Probably late tonight or tomorrow. Peace.